Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana, and listen, I gotta talk about this stick, but guess what? He's not a stick, it's a bug. It's a stick insect, a Vietnamese walking stick to be exact, and these are one of the coolest bugs or insects that you're gonna see because, I mean, look at this. It looks just like a stick sitting in a tree. And get this, they are so good at camouflage that they will even sway back and forth on their legs to mimic the wind blowing through the bush or whatever it is they're sitting on. So it looks like they're part of that, that plant. It's just amazing. Now the walking stick, they are found in Montana, not this species. We have the northern walking stick. or So you may see them yourself and find them, but obviously they're they're going to be difficult to find because of that camouflage. But they do have little mouth parts. You can't really see it here, but right at the very top of the head, he's got little mouth parts that allow him to chew plant material. And that's what these guys are going to eat as the leaves on these trees as they're sitting there, of course, hiding from their prey. So you can imagine a lot of things like to eat this guy, things like uh, birds and, and, and what have you, are going to actually prey on these quite regularly. But here's the crazy thing about the walking stick, is they actually do something called parthenogenesis, which basically means they don't need any boys in their society. Most walking sticks are all female, which is crazy to think about. There are some males that are scattered in there, but for the most part, they don't need boys whatsoever. What they'll do is they'll actually lay eggs, sometimes hundreds of them, and get this, those eggs are, uh, the babies that come out are actual clones of the female that laid those eggs. How crazy is that, girls? You probably like that, no boys needed. How lucky would that be, right? And that's me saying that. Guys, check these guys out. They're fun to look at here at the zoo. They're hard to find. There's several hundred that we have actually in the habitat. So good luck looking for them. Guys, until next time, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana.